Welcome back to Science Rocks. I'm Laura Spence. We're learning about the STEM of racing here at the St. Petersburg Grand Prix. But first, we're going to toss it over to Dave Cook in Rome, Italy to teach us about the ancient origins of STEM. Thanks, Laura. I know you're having fun out at the Grand Prix learning about the STEM of racing, but today I'm here at the Roman Colosseum learning about the origins of STEM. The Roman Colosseum is one of the seven wonders of the world, and STEM is a big reason why. It is one of the largest structures ever built in ancient times, holding more than 50,000 spectators. It's four stories high and still standing after almost 2,000 years, and it also attracts four million visitors every year. The architectural design employs arches and columns, and Roman arches essentially made the Roman Empire. The Romans didn't invent this technology, but they just perfected it and did it on a grand scale, like the Colosseum. In the design, larger blocks support the weight, using engineering to direct the weight load down and out, creating compressive stress in the arch. Meanwhile, the columns were critical to the process, absorbing the compressive load to the ground and a key element in the structural strength. So another great example of STEM genius is here at the Pantheon. Unlike most massive columns, these are made from a solid piece of Egyptian granite. Alaria was born and raised in Rome, and she is our local expert. Usually when we are in front of buildings this big, the columns, the columns are made of blocks. But this temple was so important, being dedicated to all of the gods. They believed that the was the best. From the outside, the Pantheon's drum is a massive cylindrical structure that forms the bulk of the monument. The Romans invented and utilized a system of interlocking brick arches, vaults, and piers to enable the drum's even weight distribution and support. And looking inside, the cupola reaches up to the gods and is the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome which uses lighter materials as it rises. The open-eye oculus reduces the structural load and it is an unmistakable heavenly element in this incredible display of STEM. But it doesn't just end there. And of all the fountains in Rome, this is the most famous, the Trevi Fountain. And you won't believe where this water comes from. The Trevi Fountain is still fed by the ancient Aqua Virgo Aqueduct, part of the famous ancient Roman aqueduct system. Although many modernizations have occurred over the years, it is truly a STEM marvel and one of the most visited sites in Rome. Plus, Rome is famous for more than 2,500 public freshwater fountains all over the ancient part of town, like this one at the Lago di Torre Argentina, the site of Emperor Julius Caesar's death. You'll see Rome citizens drinking and washing from these. The water is clean and safe to drink. Pretty amazing. They say that Rome is like a lasagna, with many different delicious layers, and STEM is just one of them. Science Rocks continues in a moment.